Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can register your business name with CAC just by yourself. You can do it anywhere you are in your room, uh, even on the road, you can do it in your office, anywhere you are. You can With this video, you can register your business successfully by yourself. So let us get started. Ensure you watch this video to the very end. If you are new to my YouTube channel, ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, and please share this video with your friends and family. If you have any question, you can ask in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer you. So without wasting our time, let's go right into the video. There are three things you need to know in registering your business with TSC. The first thing I'm going to do is to actually make a public search. Now, this public search is for you to confirm if that name you, are, you intend registering has not been registered. And it's very, very important to make a public search. So this is the first thing I'm going to do. So the second thing I'm going to do is for you to now to reserve that name. After I make a public search, you search the name. Then the third step is for you to actually do the registration. So all these steps is what I'm going to do in this video. So make sure you watch everything step by step. Now, to do a public search, I'll actually I'll put this link to this particular place on the in the, in the comment section or you see it below. Just click on it. You'll be brought straight to this place. Now, let's first make a public search. I'm going to click on public search. So you click on public search. Click on this search now. You're going to go to the use URL, which is search.cac.gov.ng. Now, in this place, all you have to do is to put the name of the business you intend registering. So, let's say, for example, I want to register my own business. Let me call it um, Daniel Cook. Let me just call it Daniel Cook. And then just come here. You see there's a button. Yeah, there's a, there's a search button. I am actually put my own phone on the um, on desktop mode that's why it's like this so if i click on these three dots now you see that my my thing is on desktop site you can see it's on desktop site so i advise to put yours on desktop site so you can explore everything as much as you can so i'm just going to actually close this then you come here and you click on search there's a search button somewhere here okay yeah, it's somewhere here you, you see it there so when you click on it if that particular name does not appear it means that that name is not yet registered you can go ahead to register it so you guys the first thing you're going to do so if you have done that and it's come to this place again just click on search here again and search it so let me click on daniel cook again let's see this particular name i want to i want to register daniel cook and you click on search so this is the search button you can see the search button here so when you click on that particular search button just come here and click on business name if nothing appears click on complain just ensure that it is not registered so if it's not registered then you can go on with the next step so the first thing i do is big public search so if that name is registered it means you can register it again because two person can register a name together so when you are done with that you go to the second step here which is for you to reserve a name so just click on reserve name now when you click on the serve name now, this place, if you don't have an account, you'll be asked to log in. But I've already have an account, and that is why it automatically came straight to this place. But let me just say I don't have an account. Let me just log out from this particular account. I just logged out. Okay. So when you just click on reserve name now, it's going to tell you to actually log in. So you got just to log in. So if you don't have an account, all you have to do is to come here, this button here, you see this sign up here. Just come here and click on this sign up. So to have an account is simple. Just put in your phone number. Let's say let me just put a dummy phone number let me see let me just see if this one is going to go okay this, this has been taken let me put another one just to show you just put your own original phone number you put it there then it's going to go to check that if it has not been used so now just click and click on next so when you click on next all you have to do here is to put in your you, you see your surname just fill up all this actually fill up all this it's, it's pretty easy then you click on register maybe you click on register they will send a like a verification to your email which you can actually continue to register with so maybe you have finished registering the next thing you have to do is to come up here you see this sign in so after i've sent the verification to your email you verify your email and you're able to sign in so now i'm going to sign in to an account and just show you how things is being done so I'm going to sign in. Okay, let me just sign into this one. I'm going to click. I'm going to click here, and um, all everything has been set. So I'm going to close this for privacy purpose. So you know, um, I'm going to close. I'm actually logging to an, to an active account. So I'm just going to close all those things. So I'm going to put in my password. Just put your password that you used to register. Just put it there. So I have my own password that I used to register. Put it there, and you log in straight to your account. So to, to create an account is simple, 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 and straightforward. So now, when you're now in this particular place here, all you have to do, just forget that our our uh, our screen here is on desktop site that's why you are seeing everything like this if not on desktop so desktop site means it will look like you're, you're actually checking it on a computer so you get i think i love that a lot because it gave me opportunity to be able to explore so many things so let us do let's get started fully so you just come here and click on new name reservation so it's important you listen carefully 
in this place here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I try to fill up all this. So you see your business, your company type here, classification. Click on this classification. Now, what don't you register? So in this video, we want to register our business name. So you can register your business name, your company, incorporated trustee, limited partnership, in the liability partnership. But now we're registering our business. So you get you click on business name. Now that they'll give you a kind of definition of what business name is all about, and that's what you can see in this blue portion here. You can see this thing in the blue portion, you can read it. And so if you if, if your business is a supervisorship or partnership business, you can just click on business name, register as a business name. To when, when, after I've settled business name, the next thing you do here is select the type of business name. So we have a business name, supervisorship, business name partnership. So if you want to register a partnership, you click on partnership. If you want to register a supervisorship, that you're the only one controlling everything, click on this place here that is supervisorship. Then here you're going to put here you see proposed name option option one. So let's say I want to put this option here. I'm going to put this option. Let's say I say Daniel. Okay, let me just call this one Daniel Tutorial, for example. And that is what I want to register for now. You put the name here, then you come here and put option two. But in most cases, after uh, in my own experience of registering, only attention that is to go to that you do goes to always in this option one. So most time I just um, just put option one. But you can actually repeat the two, the same things there. If you want to, you can fill it this option two. But don't forget the most time they only pay attention to option one. Just a gist. Just come here and click on save and continue. So so far, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer you. Please comment. I want to get on to hear from you. So now that I've clicked on you know the Daniel tutorial, then come here and click on save and continue. Sometimes you can be clicking on it, I can be fun and just keep clicking on it. It goes this guy. So yeah, you come here now. Reason for availability search. This way I go to Ask, they're asking that why are you making this availability search? When I click on it, these are the options that's going to come out. We have change of name, um, group holding, and, and consortium, new name substitution. So they, you click on this last one, this last one here, which is um, new incorporation registration. So if it's a business, it's new incorporation. So just come here and click on um, new incorporation slash registration. That means you are trying to register it fresh. So we have additional remarks. You might decide to leave it or put something there. In most cases, I, did, I just leave it. We can just put something there, this, 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 but just leave it though. Come here and click on so okay we, we have skipped something so now after i've selected this um new incorporation trust the next one here is this particular one here so all i have to do is to click on it nature of my business so i'm trying to register um, a school or a tutorial center anything i trying to register just come so me i'm trying to register a tutorial center for example and that is going to be education so i'm going to click on education so now specific nature of business i'm going to click here uh what i'm what my, my business i'm, I'm registering is education service and consultancy so i'll click on this so it depends on anything you are registering so just come here the nature of your business strap it through check it check it check it until you get what you are registering so make sure that the nature of the business is specific you know what you are registering so i'm watching my, my mine is in education so if yours is for example is in um let's say is in anything just check it it depends all right so if you have any problem don't forget you can comment i'll be glad to answer you i will try to answer you i'll try my best but it's important you subscribe you have to subscribe then when i've done with that just click on save and continue so you are going to go to the next step before you go to like a preview a preview is going to walk you through everything here now let me give you an important information if you are registering for another person maybe you want to make money from this video of course i've made a lot of money using this technique i'm not an accredited agent but I've made money, registry people, companies for people, you know, business for people. I've made quite a lot of money from it. So that's I'm just showing you this. So to show love to me, make sure you subscribe, like this video, please like, subscribe. It's very important. So if I register for another person, what I what I would think, what I believe is very, very important is that create a new account for that person. Use the person details to create an account. Then log into the person's account and do the registration. Don't use your own account because if you use your own account, automatically you become the owner of the business. So it's important. Take note of that. Create an account for that person. Use the person details. You know, if like you're creating your money, use the person details. Let the person be receiving the email. You have no problem with that since I've already received your money. So you just keep your mind at rest. So when you're done with that, Next, I'm going to do is to come here and click on save and continue. So in that preview, make sure that you check that everything is correct. So you're going to, you're going to reserve the name. And to reserve the name is 500 now. You can see name reservation 500 now. All you have to do is come here and click on remitter. So when you click, for example, I click on this remitter, it's going to just go straight to my remitter and those it's 500 now but with some charges it becomes like 600 and i think 612 now they're about you can see it here 761 now all you have to do to, all you have to do just to come here and click on submit so click on so when you click on submit you'll be able to you know put in your card and successfully reserve your name so after you reserve your name they will send you a verification um, 
what do you call it? The will send you um email. Then after a while, like if you guys start doing the working days, like the next day or two days, they're going to either approve it or disapprove it. It depends. So if they approve it, they'll give an availability code, which can continue to register. But if they don't approve it, they will tell you the reason why it's not approved. So you can just re do some modification and you know move on with your registration. So it's pretty simple. After I successfully pay off 661 era, let me see, 661 era, 21 cobble, and you can pay with your card or anything. So I've already gotten a business name for the sake of this video. I don't want to, you know, bore you. So let's go straight. Go straight. So I've already got started this. Let me just come and click on back. Let me click on back. Uh, let me come back to uh, our our registration here. Let me come back to, come back to dashboard. So immediately you are successfully... Um, Register, reserve your name, your business name. You can just send a, a verification containing the availability code, or you can just come here to this reserve. When you click on this reserve, there you're going to see the availability code. It's still going to be here. So to get the availability code, okay, in this case, this year I've already, you know, uh, let me just click on approved. So when you click on approved, so this this is what I click on in case you miss that. I actually click on this button here, so I click on it, and it's going to give me approved, submit, or denied. So I'm going to click on approved. Then when you come here, you see this. Um, approval notes. You can see this approval notes here. So just come here and click on this approval notes. When you click on this approval notes, the, the availability code is going to appear. You can see it here, availability code. So this availability code is going to be here. Also, although they'll send it to your email too, but you can also do it this way to be here. All you have to do is just to copy the availability code. So I might not show you this availability code, so I'm going to like blow this away. So when, when you have actually done that, just click on copy and um, just, you know, you know, push hand on it. You see this copy, copy. Then when you are done, you can just come back and click on dashboard. Then you come here to this place here. You can see the here, new business registration. Just click on new business registration. So when you click on new business registration, this way you're going to put that particular you have copied. You just click on paste it. And this is going to roll. So when it rolls, you can see the name of business is going to pop up for you. Then you click on start registration. So when you click on start registration, it's important to just follow all these steps. So there are six important steps you need to follow very carefully. The first step is for you to put your business commencement date. You can see here, step one here, business commencement date here in the first step. Okay. Option one in the first step. Now, please listen carefully to this. Make sure you the date you are the date you are registering your business. Like if I say your business today, select that day as your commencement day. It's very important because if you if you put a previous day, you will pay for each days which you fail to um, register your business and, and, and you're now operating your business in Nigeria. So please, the day you register, let's say for example, you're registering your business say today. Today is 21st of December, for example. Make sure you select 21st of December. So when you click on it here, just select that particular day. Which are registering your business. So in this case here, I'm selecting this date as the, that day I'm registering my business. You know, select it. Oh, because what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Then you put your email, you put in your phone number, you put your principal, um, principal place of business, fill up all this, basically fill up everything. Then when I fill up that, just come down here and click on save and continue. So it's very simple. It's simple and straightforward. So this can this this literally take me not the last little less than five to ten minutes. I'm done with registering a business. So I'm just gonna come here. So sometimes if you click on that save and continue, you may come to you may experience this, which is oops, 404, not found. Don't be afraid. It's simple. Just come back and click on dashboard again. Make click on dashboard. Since you have already put the first option, I've already said your name, it will not be you now see not submitted there. Just click on this non submitted. So that number is going to be there. Click on non submitted. I mean, click on that, that, that non submitted. Just come here. Um, okay. You can see in this place here. Let me, let's see in this place. You see non submitted. Let's just click on click on this. So when you click on this, you will see um non submitted. Then you click on this or you see business name. So this is going to roll. So you can just continue, you know. This is what you click on. So all you have to do if that 404 comes to you, this business starter not submitted, click on not submitted, then this business application, click on business name. Since you're registering a business name, you can just come here and click on that name of that particular um thing you're registering. You can click on it. So all you just come here and click on continue basically. Click on continue. So I've initially started working on this, and that is why it's, it, since I just it's telling me to just pay my money. So you know we are still in this particular place. Let me just take you a little bit backward. So I'm gonna click on this question two, option two. So in you know initially we are in this we have done this business detail, you pick up business detail, then you come here and click on save and continue. I believe you understand what, what I just did here. It was because when I don't save and continue, it gave me a 404. So even to give you a 404, all you have to do is just go straight to your dashboard, then on that not submitted, click on it. Then select your business name. It's going to come back to you again. Then click on that name. Click on the name you're registering. It's going to come here. So in this place, particular of, of proprietor, you may you end up not doing anything there because the name that you use to register your account automatically becomes a proprietor. That's why I said that if I register for another person, create an account for that person. Don't use your own because you automatically become the owner of the business. So just do here and just click on save and continue. You have nothing to do in this second option here. So if I click on save and continue, it's not going. Click on it again. It's going to go. It's going to go. Don't worry. Ah, so. 
this particular business I'm registering, yeah, so this is going to go, you can see something rolling, like just give it some little time, it's going to finish rolling. So when it's logo finished, yeah, I are going to put in the nature of business. So click on nature of business. In, in this particular, you know, when you're serving your business, you're serving the name, you selected the nature of business. That, that, is, that, that is the same thing you come and put here again. So yeah, let's say nature of business, I'm coming here, is education. I click on education and specific nature again. I click on education services and consultancies. Now in this place, the other nature of business description. Now, describe your business. What's your business about? Okay, um, uh, we are into educational consultancy. So, so can I just put educational consultancy tutorials and tutorial um two tongue in or tutorials for O level or anything? Just put all those things. Just describe your business basically. Put it there. Then when you are done with that, just come here and click on the. Um, you see this place? Add nature to business. Uh, so. I've done that, so I have a name. I have one I've done here. So I will just call, I've added it. It's good to have paid and I just click on save and continue. So please, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Forget to subscribe, like this video, share this with your friends and family. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer you. So now the next step here is for you to actually um you know document the requirement for business. Now this, this does not open up for me. This to network. So I'm just going to click on back a little bit just to let that open up for me. So if you're having network network each like this, just you know. Keep trying it actually. Just keep trying it. That's what I'm gonna tell you. So, so don't be afraid. Just keep trying. If you have any four four, you won't need to fall for just come up here and click on your dashboard. You know, just come here. You, you see this option here, which is dashboard. Click on this dashboard, then just kind of you know do what I just did initially for you. So this is rolling, just give it time to just roll. So here you're going to put in put in your means of identification, which can be your NIN, voter's card, pa uh, passport. Put that thing. Put your, you sign a sheet. Now the second thing is for you to shine the um, so your signature. You can just sign a sheet of paper, snap it. Then you go, you're going to put your passport. Now your means of identification should be in PD PDF. So you can use this particular app here, which is I love PDF.com. So you can just go to Google and put I love PDF.com. So it's going to come up for you. Just upload it, go click on it. Um, or better, just go to Google and just search P, P, uh, PG um, image to PDF. Many uh, for free. So many websites open for you. Just make use of them and you convert your uh, maybe your NIN or Vitas card. Convert after I've snapped it, convert it to PDF. Then you click on upload and upload this. So I've already uploaded all this now for signature. You can sign a sheet of paper, then snap it. You can also upload it successfully. Then your passport, you can take a, a headshot of yourself, you know, like a normal passport. Passport, they upload it. Then when you are done, just click on save and continue. So here it's going to give you a quick overview of what you are registering, just a quick run of what you are registering. So just check that everything is correct, that no mistake. Then just come here and click on proceed to payment. So after you have successfully registered, um, you have reserved your name. The next thing I go to do is to um what I call it, make payment for that name. Now reservation of names can takes like can take like two, three working days or four working days. So if you guys start during the weekend, you have to wait to the next working days because it's human being like you and I actually approve it. It's not computer, it's not automated of such. So you just come here to our C step here, which is for us to make payment. So I'm going to walk through this payment very briefly. So this is actually rolling. Just have to wait for you to roll. And if you have any like um if there's any issue of the rolling, just click on five, which is preview. When you click on five again, preview, come back there and click on proceed to payment. So if the network is just keep pulling like that, that's how you can just actually, you know, try around the network or better still just hold on. It's going to go. Just hold on and make sure you're in a place that has network. So here we're going to make payment and I'm going to make payment of 10,000 naira. And please note, you will not be allowed to make modification after payment. So it's, it's very careful. It's very, it's very important you carefully fill everything. Just come here and click on this one here, which is remitter. So you're going to make a payment. So just click on this remitter. Now, when you click on this remitter, you know, just put in your register, your, your card details and every other So I'm going to, this process here, I'm going to blow it so that um, I won't go against any YouTube policy. So you understand. So here, I'm going to put in my card details, expiring date. I'm going to make a payment of 10,215 naira. So I'm, I'm showing you live, but you may not be able to be seeing it because I'm going to blow it out. So I'm, I'm doing this now. All right, so I'm putting my card details. I've inside my card details, okay. Uh, my card details. So I'm going to put that in here. Put your card details, your expiring date, put your CVC. So your CVC is at the back of your card, usually like three three numbers. And if not to pay with card, you can actually pay with other things. You can pay with bank transfer, but I prefer paying with card because it's kind of faster to me. So then after you have put in your card details, then just click on pay, make payment. So when you click on make payment, this this option is going to open up for you. You can see uh, Remita is processing your payment. Um, so Remita is so you have your hour. Uh, you can just take note of that hour. So in case if anything happen, you can actually use that to record your payment. But just hold on, everything is going to work fine. So let's wait for some minutes. The hour, uh, everything seems to be blank. But just hold on from some minutes you can see now now it is it is loading up for you. So that will send like a form of OTP to your either your email. 
which you can actually use to you know continue your registration and your bank is going to send you otp too bank is going to send you otp so yeah my bank uh, i should be expecting my otp anytime soon for my bank and which i'm going to insert here so i can continue with the registration so let me do that all right, so I've put in my OTP. Then I'm going to click on confirm. So you get your OTP from your bank, any bank that you that you register your card with. So this is going to load up for you. Now I'm not showing you all those things results because of I don't want to go against YouTube policy. I'm saying this so that you no, know, but I'm showing you everything. So this is the video you need to be able to start your business. Not to do any of that thing. This video is more than enough for you to start your business. So it's important. So um, congratulations for actually seeing this video. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like this video. Please click on the like button to like this video. Share this with your friends and family. And that means a lot to me. You can see you have to pay, pay, uh, pay the, make the payment. So this has been done successfully. You can see the work, can see this paid. So you have to make payment. So if you, if, if I'm to come here and just come to my dashboard now, when I come to my dashboard, you is going now. It's now like you can see it's, it's showing it's currently like not submitted, but for this, for this submitted it. So if you click on not submitted, it's not going to be it's not going to show not submitted again because it's so let us show pen, let's click on pending approval and you can see now it has moved to pending approval. It has moved to pending approval. So if you come to a dashboard, if it's seen on not submitted, don't worry. Since I've already made payment, it has moved to this option here, pending approval. It has already moved from it has come from this place to this pending approval. So if after a minute for free, give some from working days, it can be like two working days, one working days, depend on them actually, they're going to approve it. So if they do not approve it for any reason whatsoever, for any reason whatsoever, they'll tell you the reason why it has not been approved. So if they tell you any reason why it's not approved, all you have to do is actually answer a query. Now all the queries will be done here. So I'll, I'll, I'm, um, I'm going to put a video where I show you how you can answer query. It's very straight, straight, straightforward. So ensure you also watch that video. So now with this, as well, successfully register your business. Just wait for two or three working days, five working days, basically, like, I guess they're going to approve it. So when they approve it for you, you're able to download your CAC certificate. So guys, I believe you have gotten a lot from this video. Please ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video. If you have any questions, can comment, can comment in the comment section. Please share it with your friends and family. I am Daniel Adeo Boye, and I love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.